Hello everyone and welcome back to BeFreeX today. <coughs> today we're watching Taylor Swift's breakup by Meat Canyon and let me tell you something. Let me tell you a little bit about the T Swift Lord myself. I've uh I've been entangled with Taylor Swift for a while now. I'd say since 2018. Now, I've also been in a uh, relationship since 2017. So, like, you, you, you could do the math. Um, my significant other loves Taylor Swift, and it is not a problem. It's, it's life. Now, I personally don't understand people's obsession with her, and I don't think I will. To me, at least, it comes off as very idol worshipy. Like, mind you, like, don't get me wrong, like, I personally myself am, like, a religious person or whatever, but, like, there's just something about the, the Taylor Swift cult that I think, like, you know that part in, um, spoilers for the boys, when Homelander just lasers a dude in front of an entire crowd and they cheer, that's kind of the vibe I get from Taylor Swift. Like, she's almost a demagogue, and, like, she's human. And I think a lot of times, like, with celebrity worship and all this stuff going on with these, like, people, we often forget that they are first and foremost people capable of folly and, like, you know, you have, like, a whole sect of Swifties that get real upset that she doesn't come out as a lesbian every single fucking time she goes on stage. And then you have another sect of people that, um, are just diehard fans. And it's, like, I think you can like something without crossing that line of almost worshipping it. And, like, it's a thing. Like, it really is a thing. Like, she just exists. She's a human being. And thousands of people have decided to hitch their toe and worship for some fucking reason and buy her merch and four copies of her album because if you don't have all four then you can't make the clock for midnights and that's the biggest fucking shame on earth apparently because you know those people will also complain about there not being enough food or water for children and then spend five hundred dollars on taylor swift merch because that's a that's a more pressing issue for them to make sure that this woman who is just, and I mean this in the most respectful way possible, she's a phenomenally talented, creative, and amazing songwriter, and I will not take that away from her. I think she is all those things, but she's still a fucking human being. Like, you're just giving her your money and then complaining about not either having enough or not being able to, like, people not being able to help others, but it's a thing. It's a thing. I think it's silly. I think they're silly. And I'm excited to see what this cult looks like. Arrowhead Stadium is electric this Sunday as Taylor Swift is here for the kickoff. Cheering on her man, Travis Kelsey. My God, is she beautiful. I'm thinking about breaking up with Taylor. Wait, you're going to break up with but Taylor no Swift? More... Oh, my God. No, oh, no, no, no. I think you have just signed your own death warrant, sir. Let's see. I have speakers today. That's not. Why, that's why I'm not wearing headphones. So let's see how this works. I'm hoping it doesn't pick up. That, that's not what I said. I didn't say that. That motherfucker's gonna break up with her. I think it's gonna break up. He's gonna break up with Taylor Travis. He's gonna break up with Taylor. I think he's gonna break up. I think he's gonna. I, it's dude. You're dead. It's it's over. You're over. It's over for you. You haven't in. Oh my god. You haven't in. They're all women. They're all women in this. You're fucked. You're you're actually fucked. I'd walk away. <laughs> oh no. You know the album that she's about to write is going to be one of the greatest of all time. By the way, like I think it's like interesting because you have like the whole Taylor Swift like lore in the sense of Oh, she only writes about her breakups. Oh, she only writes about her personal experiences. Okay. 
I don't think that's something you should mock her for. Like, that's what everyone does. Like, if you're... I promise you, whoever wrote Alien, or Alien 2 or whatever, probably took personal experience. Not of an alien jumping out of them, but it's like, it's fiction. That's the... That, that's, that's kind of the fucking point of fiction, is that fiction is fictional. And you take real-life experiences, boil them down into, like, themes, and then put them into a novel. You fucking shove them into a novel. And then you let those themes explore themselves and exist in a fictional fake setting. So that way the underlying and real-life truth can be explored. That's, that's, that's the origin of storytelling. So, like, stop. <laughs> Like, stop being upset at her for writing music. Like, I'm not even a T-Swift simp. I'm just saying, like, she went, to, she goes through a breakup. She writes about her feelings and emotions because other, believe it or not, other women also go through breakups. And, like, since they're also going through it, it doesn't really make sense to rag on it. If you're going to rag on it, rag on her for, like, I don't know. I, I can't really think of anything major to rag on her for that's not, like, you could rag on anyone else. Like, I could rag on her for, like, making a lot of her music sound the same. Or the vault tracks on 1989 sounding exactly like Midnight's. But, like, do I do I care? Not really. I just they sound honestly the same. You could rag on her for saying that she cares a lot about other people and the environment and then doing everything she can to make millions if not billions of dollars off her adoring fans and then using that publicity like she could cause a riot if she just said the word riot like she could that's a crazy thought she is in she could probably cause an uprising like she could co she could cause a civil war i firmly believe that now would they win the civil war no because it's just a bunch of people that List, like, I don't know when I, when I hear T Swift it, it depends on what era T Swift because I feel like I feel like debut T Swift they're, they're gun nuts but like once you get to post red like you're 1989 and onward you're, you're dealing with a whole new animal of T Swift you're dealing with lack of a better word mid 20s white women and they're not known to be insanely great capable fighters I could be wrong. I'm just saying they're not known. That's not when you think strong, capable fighter, you don't think uh, mid twenty white woman. Uh, maybe I maybe I'm just bigoted. In. I don't. When I think strong, capable fighter, I think Bruce Lee. That's who I think. Oh my God. Like, they're feeling her pain for her. Why do you want to leave me? Babe, that's not what I said. I I mean, like, yeah, this is terrifying, and I do talk a lot, but, like, uh, question of the day. What do you call a group of angry white women that are together? I don't have an answer. I genuinely want to know. I'm trying to think of a name. Um, A squad? No, nah, because I feel like a squad can be given out to... Let me know. I really don't have an answer. I would never say that. You know how tight we are, Tay Tay. Come on. Why do you have to lie to me? I love you. And you want to break my heart? Why can't you love me? <laughs> They're like feeling her emotions for her. Oh my god. Your existence. Everything is spectacle and everything so perfect and right. I try to get your attention, but it goes unnoticed until it's convenient for you. I can never love you. 
because I can't stand the idea of you. <gasps> no, that's fair. That's valid. <laughs> Y'all can't even be upset with her to co because to quote her in her own star, she... In the song Bedazzled, she says that she's the sparkling one and you were the dim that surrounds her. So, like, you can't even be upset. Like, come on now. I'm sorry, Taylor, but I think we should break up. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. He's dead. Yeah, it's game over. I would just call it. Well, at least he'll become a number one hit. I mean, they're not wrong. I guess, like, the biggest thing with it is, like, it's a human being who is well want, who's loved and wanted by every single person on Earth. Not every single person, but enough people on Earth for it to be, like, superstardom. Like, it's Michael Jackson famous. And it's, like, I don't. I think I think no matter what, no matter where, you can't really talk about it without coming off with a tinge of jealousy, envy, all those emotions, and it's it's fair because you are jealous, you are envious, you want to be known, you want to be seen, you want that type of attention. Who doesn't? I do think there is a problem that comes into play though when it's like I don't blame her for it. I blame the audience. I. I Typically, and I feel like I have a pretty clean track record of this, I normally blame the audience. Why, you may ask? Because it's your fault. It really is. It's not my fault. It's your fault. And, like, it's not just your fault because of anything wrong. Like, or anything you did wrong. It's just, like, your attention is very valuable. And when you start giving up your entire life, now you could just be like, well, I just like this artist. There's a difference between liking an artist and then you're like, I think there's a difference. Because it's like, I like Kid Cudi. I couldn't tell you the last thing Kid Cudi made. I like movies. Like, you can like something without going into like the worship aspect of it because there there is like there's the difference between praise and attention and like attention is very valuable whether it's a a spiritual or just a regular commodity like <clears throat> the things you give attention to are the things that tend to run your life which is why it just just works that way it's it's like a transference it's a currency in a way and it just like It can be scary to see the amount of attention given to one person because they're good at singing or have a good voice or they're nice. Like, it's a, it's a weird modicum. Like, she has a phenomenal PR team, I'll tell you that much. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't mind, just like, comment, share, subscribe. Question of the day again. What do you call a group of angry white women? Post every day. Peace out. Bye-bye.